Squish is a mobile 2D top-down to tower defense game similar to Castle, Defender 3, and Ant Smasher. So Squish asked the question, what if the player could be the tower in a tower defense game? Rather than place defenses and watch the game unfold, what if the player could become fully engaged during the entire level? What might the player do as a tower? On mobile devices, poking, pinching, and swiping are common user interfaces. With the introduction of pressure-sensitive touch, squishing can take on a whole new dimension for the user. Therefore, in a game where insects are trying to steal your crop before market, you could poke the bugs to squish them before they could take it. Trying not to get bitten, of course. Thus, to answer the question, the player would use their own hands. If the bug is rearing its biting jaws or stinger, the player could pinch the bug, rather than getting bitten or stung when squishing it. This gives the player meaningful action between poking, or the pressure-sensitive poke, and pinching. If the player tries to pinch a bug that isn't rearing its head up or its stinger, the bug simply wiggles away. Or if the bug was flying, they could use a swipe gesture to swat the bug away. Again, flying bugs with a stinger at the ready shouldn't be swatted, otherwise you'll get bitten or stung. When the user does get bitten or stung, we'll use the haptic vibration feature supported by most mobile devices to alert the user they've been bitten. With each subsequent bite or sting, the screen gets a little more blurry, again sending the message to the user that you are the tower. Consumables such as obstacles can be purchased to force insects to go around them, slowing them down. Sprays and zappers can be used against ground and flying insects, respectively, for crowd control. The player will have to weigh the value they bring versus the return on investment during any given level. So in Squish, the player is minutes before the big day of the farmer's market, ready to sell their hard-end crop. But if the bugs get to it before the market opens, it could cost the player money. The player seeks to protect their crop from the swarm of insects until it can be sold. Profits from the sale unlock higher value crops, i.e. higher levels, which can attract more challenging insects. With more valuable crops, more money is earned and the farmer can unlock even more levels, ultimately to become the most profitable farmer in the market. All levels are replayable and ranked on a three-star system based on how much crop remains for sale. Players can optionally choose to invest their money in power-ups such as obstacle sprays and zappers to help beat a particularly difficult level. Using pressure-sensitive touch technology for squishing bugs is a risk and may not be conducive for the speed at which the game plays. The inexperience of the team building mobile devices and touch interfaces is also a risk, not to mention that the player being the tower is fun or just frustrating. To mitigate the risks, we'll follow a fail-fast development strategy to build out a prototype to test drive pressure-sensitive touch inputs, prove out technical areas the team isn't sure, ab sure about, and get a playable version in testers' hands quickly so that we can course-correct any changes that need to be made. Ultimately, keeping an open mind and willingness to adapt based on what we'll learn will make Squish a success. The other aspects of the game are easily mitigated using primitives, navigation system, terrain, and mechanics the team already has experience with. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for your consideration for the Capstone Project.